So recursion depth in TypeScript is limited to around 45. That means like if you call the same type, you can only go so far. And mm. this one is saying uh, we need to go deeper. <laughs> so <laughs> how do we go? We, we've done this kind of thing before. Uh, the actual the actual setup is for a range function. So uh, it's looking for these. I hate how sometimes they do like the edge cases first. But like let's look at a normal mm -hmm. uh, a normal one from zero to ten. Okay, so then mm -hmm. we're going to get a tuple out that has the values from 0, 1, 2, counting up all the way to 10. This one goes from mm -hmm. 1 to 200. So we have all the values from 1 to 200 in a big tuple. And, you know, just having passed in those inputs. This one goes some other random numbers. So that's basically the setup for it. Um, mm -hmm. The first, the first, so, so this is in the, we're into the extremes now. I, unless you are uh, really, really looking for some pain, I'll, I'd like to just show you a, uh, Start trying some. I have no earthly idea how we <laughs> start tackling this. So, My gosh. So here we are. Here's the first. Here's the first one from Watsushi on GitHub. Mm -hmm. I mean. Okay. Let me let me take a moment to just assess the layer. Of the take land it in. Here. Yes. We have uh, inclusive range type where we're basically saying, okay, lower a number. These are the two things that we need to pass in. Right. We accept lower and higher as like the public API for this type helper. Then we've got C extends one, which I'm going to replace with. Uh, could you replace with your abacus emoji? Just yeah. So let me let me go find it. Uh, you like the abacus? That's good. Uh, <laughs> I like the abacus. Yeah, yeah. Uh, or can I do it? I'll go grab it. Uh, yeah. Let me grab yeah. One. There we go. Oh wait, I can do my own one. I'll just I'll just do a love heart. There we go. Oh, be a heart. Oh, yeah. Okay. Let's do it. Oh, lovely. Uh, so we got C extends this array, and then I equals false. Oh, for God's sake. Ah, okay. <laughs> So there's some kind of like, because okay, <laughs> I can see that I is false here, but then there's a check for I extends true. Okay, so something interesting is going to happen there. This is a really common pattern that I see actually, which is like saving um, intermediary variables in TypeScript in default parameters to type helpers. Like this is probably something that you get a lot of in the type challenges too. And this is actually a technique that's used in, in the wild as well. Uh, oh, hello. Sorry, I need to put my love heart down here as well. One of one of the people I solved these challenges with has a technique where they solve all of it in the parameters, oh. and then like at the end, just return like it's yeah. just they just put result in here, and I mean yeah. it's just like yeah. one after the other after the after the other uh, yeah. parameters, and it's it was really wild to see them like working through problems like this. Uh, yeah, it turns out there's a lot you can do up there. Totally. Yeah. I mean, I'm pretty sure we could just put like all of this up here. Like maybe not actually, maybe this is just going to be mad, but uh, this is like T results equals this, for instance, and just like uh, return T results. I bet you this isn't going to work for some like wow. mad recursive reason. Oh, there you go. It works. Yeah. So you can do, you can do a lot of stuff in here. It's kind of mad. God, look at the types. <laughs> If you look at if you like hover over T results and just look at what gets hovered there. Oh wow, Woo, baby! Okay. okay, we got a lot there. So please put me out of my misery. I have no idea how I would even start addressing this. So basically, uh, the two. So looking at I, the two behaviors here that we're checking against are whether or not we've hit the place at which we're going to start recording values. So the way that this mm. works is, like, take this A six example. It doesn't actually start. And at, until 22. So what mm. I is doing is it's the flag for like, ha, are we including, I think it's, I don't know what, I can't know for sure what the person meant when they wrote I, but I think what mm. it means is like, have we started, have we started yet? Yeah, 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 yeah exactly. Um, and then, so we have like a generic counter that's going in the background and that's what C is, but we have another counter that's, uh, that's grabbing all of the like result. So that's what I think I, we could probably rename mm. this one to result. And yep. ultimately that's the thing that the only kind of literal values, if you just scan this function, the only literal values returned are result passing in the last higher value or mm. uh, this base case here for uh, empty tuple when we've hit the end of the road when we're done. Otherwise, yep. it's just going to keep looping around. So this will do a little extra recursion. It'll do you know twenty two extra recursions until it gets to a number to record, and it will keep going until it needs to stop. 
So why doesn't this hit TypeScript's normal recursion limits? I think I think this one, you know, if you do one more, like let's do 201, this one will fail mm. if you if you do 201, I think. Oh, maybe oh, not. It looks fine to me. Wow. Um I, I think it's 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 just skirting around it. It's very close. This is not from a performance yeah. standpoint, I don't think this solution is one of the better ones. Um yeah. here, let, let's look at more because we have we'll we have more. Um, yeah. I don't think I have a good answer to your question <laughs> is what I'm really saying. Yeah. I mean, I don't either, so blimey. Uh, this one is from Team Chong. Um, I think we, <laughs> did we see a solution from him before? Well, anyway, this person does a lot of challenges. And hmm. yeah, very, very similar in some ways. They comment it a little bit, which and they give names like results and stuff. So that's, that's nice, yeah. helpful. Counter, this is really counter. So... Yeah, uh, very similar sort of starting approach. We see a, this is a canonical never check here being done. Mm -hmm. And then, yeah, we're, we're saying, does the current counter, and again, they just this is counter is just an alias for count you know, length. Mm -hmm. Does the current counter extend high? Very similar to what we saw before. Yeah, I see, I see. You know, so then... this is basically the same solution, but they broke it out with different helper types. The thing yeah. that's different is it uses uh, strings. Hmm. Okay. And what's what's L representing here then? Lower bound. This is like low and high. Uh -huh. So they got converted to strings. If we go find this function where it was called, we'll see that lower and higher were converted to strings before right. they were passed okay. in. Wow. Okay. So. I can say broadly, the reason that this is being done is that in TypeScript, for whatever reason, the tuple like recursion limit is, let's say, less than 200 or 500, less, less than 500, let's say. It's not that mm -hmm. it's not that far. It's not thousands and thousands. But mm. some fact of, or artifact, you could say, if you didn't want to be generous, of the way that strings and inferencing of strings is implemented in TypeScript allows you to go way further. So you can do... Wow. Um, up to like big end level of recursion with strings. Wow. Okay. That's so mad. This solution, if we go down to the very bottom, uses a similar approach to we see that uh if we if we just scroll down, we are so T for 10 digit, zero for single digit. So this is like a multiplication type thing that's going mm -hmm. on for carrying. Mm -hmm. And we're, we're indexing from like string digit positions. So if you were to p if you were to pause your screen and just stare at this for forty five minutes, which I did do <laughs> a while ago while preparing, what you find is it's basically doing like piece by piece digit arithmetic. God, I mean, this is just like bouncing off me. I'm like, I can't believe we've got like one more that's even more extreme than this because this is just. Terrifying um, me. We actually have two more that are more. <laughs> okay. Uh, God's sake. We don't, okay, we don't have cool. to. Uh, I don't, I don't want to. Um, yeah, I don't want you to have a heart attack or anything. So. Oh my uh, God. I've got to go back uh, to recording my course after this. My brain's going to be melted. Okay. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Uh, <laughs> I like it. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll skip one. We'll, we'll just jump no, right no, no, to no, the... no, Give me. Give me. Lay them on me. Lay them on me. I'm okay. ready. Um, so this one is by uh, Human Detail on GitHub. They they also do a, a lot of other challenges, and um, l like walking through it from the bottom. So we we have lower and higher. We have the mm -hmm. result that's being built up. So mm. at a at a like a ten thousand feet view, it is still pretty similar to the others. He implemented mm -hmm. this greater than um, and you know type that is nice because it's a little clearer what's going on, like lower than higher extends true. So this is kind of like our I flag in the very mm. first example. Yep. And he's not using the default generics here as well. He's just using like um, some basic slot. Oh no, he is using one. Yeah. One, yeah. So, but yeah. Okay. But otherwise it's kind of all encapsulated in this uh, in this this higher type here. Uh, mm. So all the the arithmetic and all of the like the here's the greater than logic uh here's here's how you do a plus one so you have a tuple or you have a number mm -hmm. you turn it into a tuple by recursing we've seen that before and then you just add one to it um mm -hmm. add one element and then grab its length and then you intersect the length with number I mean, it's like 
Uh, Intersecting the length with number is interesting because that sort of coerces it to be a number. Yes. Right? Um, that's cool. Okay. Yep. Exactly. You got it. Um, minus one. This is a very clever solution for minus one. So we're turning a number into a tuple and then we are... Mm -hmm. do, you, do, you, do you see what this does? Yeah, yeah. So you're basically saying, okay, uh, number to tuple extends if it has any length at all. So if it's one, then like we're going to, or if it's a, a tuple that contains one element, then we extract the one element, but we're not using infer like head or anything. We could use infer head, but this would basically be unused. So we just refer to it as unknown. Yeah. And then we grab the length. So yeah. this is really clever because it actually means you can't minus one below zero, right? Yes. Yeah, neat. Um, exactly. Yeah, you got it. I love that you picked up on that. Um, yep, that's an important part of this one. Um, because yeah. then when you get into negative numbers, it can be kind of troublesome. But yep. there are no negative indexes in, in uh, tuples, and we're only using tuples to count, so it works. Um, nice. Okay, <laughs> uh, last solution. This is by far the most, uh, the most beast mode. Um, I, I don't think there's any. Uh, so all of these, okay, I'll say all of these are going to be online on the GitHub for. Uh, I post the code for all these all the time. Um, don't be dismayed if we don't go through every bit of this. But there's this one. <laughs> uh, oh my days. Venus Li Lang Liang um, on GitHub. So some some commonalities we i'll just like we'll read yeah. through from the top because there's it's not even uh everyone's using tuples right yes. yeah everyone's using tuples everyone's using this length thing that's really interesting yeah exactly i i love that you picked up on that too yeah this is the thing they all have in common there's different ways of doing it this person instead of sticking them into a mapped object they chose to make like n1 through n10 at the top mm. It's really the same. I mean, there's not, it's just like a different style. Mm hmm. We add 10. Here, that's add interesting. 10. Wow. <laughs> oh my God. Look at this stuff. Look at this cumulative tuple type. What is going on there? Yeah. Um, cumulative tuple. Okay. So, so. <laughs> it goes way off the screen. I usually try very, very hard to keep it all to fit on the screen, but for situations like this, like I think there's just no hope. Um, Absolutely, yeah. This so, is dirty. Okay, cool. Uh, and then tuple, tuple repeat is like uh, it takes. You know, it show at least they go so far as to show like a little helper of what this thing does. <laughs> uh, that's nice, anyway. Uh, splitting characters. So of course, to do this kind of stuff, you need to split characters of mm. a number. So one, two, three needs to be split into a tuple with one, and then two, and then three, so forth. Wow. Uh, greater than get number. So it just goes and goes. Uh, it's kind of <laughs> But, but it's the same structure, right? Yeah. In general, like down in the in the inclusive range area, it's just different people have chosen to use different levels of abstraction, I guess, and different or chosen different abstractions to um, do the logic. But the main idea of it stays the same from a high lens or high yes. view. Wow. Yep. Um, this, okay. Yeah. Extreme is the word. Extreme is the word. <laughs> okay. All right. Let's go on to the next one then.